This is the Mocri LS1 temperature sensor kit with the Pro Hub. So this hub has a time on it, has a day, which is nice. Really nice feature of this is all of the sensors. So I have, it has an app, right? So I have all of my sensors here. And you can see you can name all the different sensors if you want. Uh, you can see it has my freezer, my fridge. This is a climate sensor. This is actually a sensor that's in my room, which has the humidity. I have one in my garage uh, freezer and then my garage in itself. All right, this is what the sensor looks like. I have two of these. So I have one of these in my garage. So if I look here, my garage freezer, that's one of these in the garage. It's completely wireless, which is nice. And then the one that's called garage is actually this one. I pulled it in from the garage, but you can just put this anywhere. You can actually attach it to a wall if you want to with Velcro, or you can hang it like so, All right? Now the app, is really where this kind of really gets powerful. So if you had this in your garage refrigerator, you can see I just installed this one yesterday, right? So I was playing with it, but you can see that it has a history. So I can see my garage freezer was at some point 91, which it wasn't because I was testing it, but it's dropped down, right? Now, if I look at my fridge, we can see that my fridge, for some reason, it goes from 27 degrees up to 36. My fridge actually has a 10 degree variance every single day. I don't know why, but this is really nice to know exactly what temperature your fridge is at uh, and your freezer. So you see I have a few of these sensors. It also has alerts, okay? So if my freezer gets above 40 degrees, this will alert me. Not only will the sensor go off itself, but also the app will go off and it'll let you know. The uses for something like this, the use case for something like this is really endless. You can use this for your refrigerator, of course, or a freezer, a garage chest freezer. You know, you can put this in there. Of course, if you have like meat, I know people that buy like half of a cow and they put it in a freezer. You wanna know if that thing goes bad, right? And also having a history of knowing when it went bad would be really nice. Or if the power went out, you can kind of check on it and say, oh no, it's still, you know, 36 degrees, it's still 32 degrees, everything's still frozen in there. Um, but you can also take this a little, a step further. You can use this maybe if you have a rental or if you have a crawl space and you wanna put this in your crawl space to know, well, what's the temperature of the crawl space? Is it like super below zero? Are my pipes gonna to start to freeze? Or if you have a shed, or if you have, like I said, a rental home or something like that, and you wanna know that something's going bad, this will alert you and tell you, hey, the temperature is outside of whatever range that you set up in the app. So it's really nice, you can get, you can access you know, you can access all your temperatures and all of your alarm settings right in your phone, anywhere in the world. But you also have this hub that I like, and I actually sit this on my desk, and I like the blue light here on the top. I don't know if that's coming through. There's a nice light. It's nice to have that on your desk, just so you have, you know, 